Hey guys, welcome to Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Nerdarchist Ryan, and I'm joined by Dave, Ted, Nate. All right, so today we're going to do a little talk about unorthodox builds, and we're going to talk killer about combos, if you will, killer or unkiller combos, as the case may be, because we're talking about a Warforged monk, which isn't exactly optimal. We'll talk about some of the pro con pros cons, but I made this character called Anchor for uh, for Dave's uh, Eberron one shot game. And so I found it a really enjoyable character to play, and we're just going to talk about the build a little bit. So, um, Warforged Monk, how does that work? Um, so, I came up with the term uh, suboptimal prime. Because, you know, <laughs> like, Warforged, Transformers. Uh, I mean, it was, I, it was really about the character concept more so than the build being super strong. But that being said... He was super strong, like physically. He, yeah. You know, like you, you did it as an eighth level character, so he's able to take uh, stat bumps and a uh, and a feat. And if you're gonna do a monk that wants to grapple, undoubtedly you need to take the grappler feat, and that's what I did. It makes sense. It's right yeah. in the name, grappler. It, yeah, exactly. So yeah, that narrowed my choices down a little bit, and. You know, specking a monk for strength really is not the optimal way to do it, but I build him to have an 18 strength, and uh, you know that's it, that's the way it went. So, so, what kind of decks did he have? You went, did you go with a point buy or array? I went with, I think I did do the uh, the the point buy. Okay. And he couldn't have had more than a plus one or a plus two on decks. You know, so he was getting hit a lot. But as a warforged, level card, didn't you have like a 14 AC? He did have a 14 AC. I think I actually had a better wisdom than I did a dex for like okay. Stunning Fist and the other monk abilities. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, uh, with a grappler, Stunning Fist, uh, if you get it off the per the other person's super boned doing that, and the way the opening ha open hand for uh, for monks, you have so many abilities with your flurry of blows that are also derived off of your wisdom. So, you know, as a Warforged, you get a plus one to AC. So that was helpful. Yes. Um, you know, and then he had, I think, a plus one from Dex, and then, yeah, a plus two from Wisdom. was kind of where he was at. Which, for Monk, not great. You know? So, so okay, so what, you know, because you went, you, you kind of went Grappler because you kind of, like, had to, to make him more effective. Well, no, not monk. really. I mean, well, you could have won your strength. I, I, yeah, I, I just wanted to build a Grappler. A Grappler character. Like, I thought it would be fun. And, you know, I came up with this idea, Anchor, you know, an Anchor weighs things down, just kind of like, you know, so he just, like, sits on people, like, kind of deal. Right. He's, I wanted to build, like, when I think of Warforge, I just think of, like, big irony hulks sort of characters, or at least that's what I wanted to make for this character. As Bender on steroids. <laughs> right, exactly. So, um, you know, that's, yeah, that's where I went with that. Um, I think might have dumped Charisma, so I made him kind of like a prototypical, like, sailor. You know, like he picked kind up of the, belligerent. Yeah, he picked up the habits of sailors, you know. Yeah, he was kind of, like, talked in a lower class sort of way, you know. Had a pirate. He a did. Pirate he did. That, a, uh, he did that was also lower class. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He did have a pirate. Well, actually, so I never really went into it, but uh, the pirate was uh, probably taken from a pirate ship. So like some dread pirate, like it was <laughs> <Yeah>. their pet. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so Ted was also in that game yeah. mm -hmm. where, where you <clears throat> where you showcased anchor, and so that build, you know, warforged monk. You, uh, you know, you you decided to make him a grappler. And to be effective with grappling, you took the you know, took the grappler. It was an eighth level character, so you bumped the strength. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, between between the plus one the stat because that's what the Eberron, you know, Ar PDF. on Arthur Arcanas are getting in the PDF. Right. So having a plus one the strength. They got PDF good. They on did that get one too. pretty <laughs> get pretty well PDF. Um, so yeah, he had a net of a plus three, and I put a fifteen in that stack. Well, that plus one armor class that stacks with anything is, is handy. It's super. I mean, handy. it's pretty much like a plus two to dex without the benefit of right. you know like other stuff, other stuff yeah. associated with it. Right, so like the saving throws or this. It thing. is like having that extra boost to another another stat that that goes with your armor class. And you know, you were really good at grappling, so you actually got to grapple two different people. Yeah, yeah. Like because I it, think we totally did the grappling rules wrong though. I, I think I did do a thing where I shouldn't have been able to uh grapple during my flurry of blows like once I think that happened or whatever. Like I shouldn't yeah. have been able to do that. Well so we no, that I think wrong. I think you made an attack roll where you didn't actually have to make the attack roll. You just make the grapple check. Right. Yeah. And they automatically kind of get grappled. Right. Well, it's it's just in a contest. Uh, yeah, in it's a just an opposed role. role. Yeah. So you know, so and if you if you're actually trained in athletics and you have a twenty strength, 
You're going to yeah. be pretty good at grappling. Yeah. Well, you're in 18, but yeah, he's, you know, like still just being proficient is super helpful. You know? Yeah, well, it's at four, three, seven, plus seven where someone else, you know, heck, ogres probably have like a plus four or five to strength max. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know off the top of my head. So yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be good at grappling, which then you know once you as a warford monk, monk grappler, what you can do is you can move them around the battlefield if you want. You can pin them in place. You can push them down on the ground, and they can't get up unless they break your grapple. Yeah. Uh, as a monk, like you said, stunning fist. If they fail that check, you automatically get to grapple them. Right, yeah, as long yeah. as you have the actions to do it. Right, yeah, absolutely. And being a monk, you get the extra the extra attack. Not even just Larry Blues, but eventually you get extra attack as well per level. Yeah, so, so. You, you get up to four actions in one round. And and let's face it, the monk has uh, three options that kind of go good with grappling, which is pushing people around, um, knocking them down, and stunning them. Yeah. And if you stun them first, and they're kind of boned on the other things. <laughs> yeah, one of the things I should have weighed out actually is taking dipping one level into rogue for the expertise in in uh, athletics. But in order yeah. to get that, you need to have the thirteen decks. Oh, so if you, if you only yeah. had a twelve. Yeah, bollocks. Yeah, yeah. that doesn't so you'd work. have to. Again, it comes down. It comes down to those uh, stats. You know, those, those stats. Well, points. yeah. Actually, thinking about it, taking like say having like a sixteen strength or whatever. Like to to get that thirteen decks. That's totally but worth it. Because of the expertise, like, well, I'm gonna be, I'm doubling it's worth my proficiency. It at first level. So well, no, I mean, like, because doubling your proficiency bonus mm -hmm. is better than that plus one to strength. Like, really, it is. So yeah, that would be definitely a thing to consider. Had I, you know, re engineered. And but you would have also lost the extra feet as well. By because your eighth level. Yeah, yeah. So if you, barely. you know, if you. But if you, yeah, but it, building a character like that's the thing. Like, so if you're gonna play, you know, a, a Warforged monk. You know, at some point you want you you know you can dip in the rogue, which, you know, a lot of times you see you know we've made the argument that you, you, you well you have to plan it on your around the ability stat, but let, let's face it, most of the time, the class features you're going to get are just as good as a feat or better. Mm -hmm. So so like sneak attack expertise. We we t I think as a group we tend to romance the feat a little bit more than it, it's warranted. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know things like stat, the stat bump and, and class features they're you know sometimes they're just as worth it like and like you, you said you get extra rogue. skill too yeah, yeah rogue is sneak attack extra skill and expertise like expertise for respect for the build like yeah, yeah there's nothing that good in a feat yeah. that gives you you know that that combination mm -hmm. especially like you said when you're specking it for a build yeah. so yeah ultimately yeah that character would want to pick up a level of monks or a level of rogue somewhere. And, and double down on that proficiency bonus, and you, and you're not even ex, you're not even excluding the chance. I mean, you're just pushing the feet off one level. Because so if you did one rogue monk, one level in rogue, and the rest in monk, well, okay, so ninth level you'd get your feet. Now let's so. talk about some cool things you can do with a character like this. One is because you you know one you have thirty foot of movement, which is fifteen, but you're a monk, you have forty foot, so that's twenty. So once you grapple someone, whether you pin them or put them on the ground or whatever. Well, not if you pin them. But whether you push, push them around or not, you can pick them up, and your character was a sailor, yeah. so he could jump over the side of the ship with them and keep them grappled. Oh, well, and <laughs> as a warforged, he does not need to breathe. So he could drown someone. He could that's just hold them under. Yeah, that's yeah, kind of my ways. point. Yeah, but and you would just like swim up to the surface again and get on no, the ship. No, you don't swim up to the surface though. <laughs> there, there is that problem. Yeah. But, uh, well, if he's anchor, we could, you know, he could say he's tied off to the ship. He's got a chain that's tied to the ship. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> I've got a rope. They just kind of drag me along. Yeah, 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 exactly. But you know, you know, if he's on a crew that are familiar with his tactics, they're like, oh, we got to stop Frank. I drop the rope again. Yeah. And I drop the anchor so he can climb up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's not Might even be like how you got your nickname. You got picked yeah. up by the anchor. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, and also too, it's like it's not like the ship's going to move that far away. Like during the course of the span of time that you're going to drown someone. Yeah. That's minutes. Well, there's a whole combat that might be going. Yeah, on. yeah. There's a whole combat, but I'm just saying, like, if you need to like actively drown someone, like, well, that's only a few minutes, and then like, up, yeah. oh, swimming back to the ship now because I have athletics. And I'm really good at this anyway, so I'm going to swim really good. I don't think yeah. Warforged can be good enough to swim back to the ship. Eh, it might be like swim. swimming up a waterfall, or they could. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or they well, could just walk along the bottom. They have to the walk sea. along the bottom. <laughs> you know, and if, you're, and if you're in a yeah, if you're in a shallow sea, 
Yeah. Than well, what, there, it's only like 60 I, feet or something. There's no, rule, there's no special rules for Warforged that say they can't swim. I mean, yeah. So, unless yeah, you're going to, like, yeah, as, as a, a GM, impose disadvantage or whatever. Well, what, right? what, as what a GM, I might impose get? common sense. What does a guy in full plate get as a disadvantage for... for does he get a disadvantage? It would be disadvantage, but at a certain point, you know what, you can't... It, if if you, you look at the weight of, of it, and that's basically going to bring you to the bottom, and you're, you're going to have to swim against that. Yeah. I mean, if someone wants to make the argument, I'm say, sure, go in the pool and we'll put some armor on you and see if you can get back to the top oh, if you lay on the bottom. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. Swimming, yeah. swimming, in, swimming in just clothes is hard enough. Yeah, I mean, a diver's belt isn't that heavy. And, you know, and it, it's meant to keep you down. And it's meant, Yeah, it's meant to keep you down. You know, a suit of armor or, you know, a war forge that's it's not buoyant. So I would say you played armor, sixty-five pounds. So I, I think it would be. And kind there's of, a whole industry around, isn't in Eberron? There's a whole industry around harvesting warforged out of the sea. You know, I thought I read that someplace. Or did uh, I just make that up? I think you made it up. Or it it's, it's, really, now, it's, it's a thing. It's now. totally a thing now. It, it yeah. just happened. But yeah, I could definitely see like his backstory. He was on a ship and he did that, and they didn't know to stop. They're like, mm. oh, I guess we need another warforged. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so so thing. from that point on, he's like, listen, guys, <laughs> when I go over the side, just freaking stop the boat, drop the anchor, I'll be back. Or I mean, he could tie off, like you know, he could like, cause like sometimes in in rough seas, like you know, sailors will tie off, and like maybe his whole thing is like, if battles join, he ties off because he knows he's probably gonna go off to the side at some point in time in the encounter. I would so use that against him at some point though. It, being tied off while you're trying to move around and maneuver and fight is not going to be. Well, it's going to give you conducive. a radius. It's going to give you a radius that you can move. It's like yeah. a dog, like on a chain. Yeah, and someone much. could always cut the rope with a sword yeah. or an axe while you're down there, unless you had a chain. Yeah, you know, if they if they know to cut it or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, so that that's definitely something to be done. But you know, so I was thinking of other things too. Is like you know, um, other you know other spells or whatever you could totally or like you did. You you know you had a thing of choking and sneezing. Yeah, or I took I I bought a, as one of my items a cursed item. Yeah. Uh, the, oh, that's uh, actually a cursed. It's item? It's a cursed item <laughs> that I use because I don't breathe. Uh, they there's the dust of choking and sneezing, and I threw it at my own feet because everybody in a thirty foot radius has to make a con save or be incapacitated, if you breathe. Wow. If you breathe. <laughs> so that's <clears throat> the first. Uh, that's a good benefit of not being able to breathe. Yeah, yeah. Well, so if there's other spells that, you know, affect someone's ability, you know, their breathing, then, you know, you could totally grab them, pull, drag them into it and, and hang out. Right, right. In the stinking cloud or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, even though I don't, you know, it, that's one of the weird gray areas of War Force of what it exactly does not breathing do for you. It's very situational. Does it make you immune to, you know, it, Inhale poisons. I don't know. I'd probably give it to them to a certain extent, or maybe give them advantage on it or something. Yeah, kind of something like you got like uh, you, you closed your your breather breathing ports, or you don't even but, have breathing ports. But they ports. don't. Yeah, I mean, but they can take potions and and stuff and consumables. So that means there's, there's a way to get in. You're right. not airtight. Right. Well, I mean, like for my character, like you know, when he drops the dust, even if like. Well, he he just completely shuts his mouth when he goes, you know, when that dust is down. So this way, there's no chance to have anything. Yeah, he to basically do with. just yeah. uses his mouth to look anatomically correct and speak. Yeah, right. That's it. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, but they can use it to eat and drink. Yeah, but they it's not like option. they won't take a startled gasp or something. No, no, there's no respiration. Yeah, there's no, on. there's none of that. So all the all the ways that they could have something enter the system when they don't want anything to enter the system, you know. He's, it's not like you're a mouth breather in combat or something. You don't have. You just have your mouth closed unless you were talking. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Maybe they walk around the mouth and ah. <laughs> Intimidation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna bite you, metal mouth. Yeah, yeah, maybe. So, I, the same uh, the same concept and build could also be applied to other characters as well. You know, you can you you, know, you interchange warforge with mountain dwarf. Or half work, any strength based. Except for the whole work. not breathing thing. Yeah, that part <laughs> is very, it's very work. distinct. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a half work. I don't breathe. If yeah. you guys, if you guys try to copy this maneuver, the results may vary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you but, you absolutely probably drown the person you're trying to drown because you have a higher con than them. Yeah, yeah. But then you might drown afterwards. Yeah, that's a good chance. <laughs> like, all right, you better. Well, except for you don't have to worry about the buoyancy thing at least. Yeah. And yeah. you know, with a monk, like, I believe they can spend a kai point to um to be able to jump higher. Um, so, like, maybe you jump off the, like, you know what I mean? Like, you jump off the, the ocean's bottom to give yourself a little bit of a leg up could, before you start. Could you grapple somebody 
do the Kai Point jump, leap up in the air, and like totally body slam. Oh, you, <laughs> could totally, <laughs> you could totally do that. I couldn't see why, 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 why not, really. Well, well, you could, but yeah, and the monk can actually jump off a of high, high places because they don't, they don't take damage for falling up to a certain amount. So you carry him up to the crow's nest and boom. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. It's Fire gone through the whole. You're gonna, you're gonna okay. break the ship that way. Yeah. 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 There may be some <laughs> collateral damage to other things. Hey, for core maneuvers, sometimes you just gotta go with it. Yeah, it's felt that one, Mean Gene. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely above the third rope there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, but then that... you need the athletics feet so that you can climb faster. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, or I mean, athletics, I mean, you know, or it could be that the encounter happens when you're already in the crow's nest, so you don't have to you're drag right. something. Like yeah. you know, somebody a thing's flying by, you grab it, you pull it in. And bam! It just oh goes yeah, down. the athletic feet. Okay, I was like, well, you already have the athletic. Yeah, yeah, athletic feet gives you basically a climb mm -hmm. speed. Yeah. Otherwise, you're at half movement, and you're already at half. So. Oh yeah. It's only ten foot around. You'd be like, this is so going to hurt you when I get to the top. When I finish. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the thing is headbutting you and well, trying to bite you. Well, and then like, yeah, you know, like the whole time you're talking crap on it, like, you know how much, how much I hate you? I hate you so much. Then we're willing to waste this time dragging your ass <laughs> up the top of this current ass while you're just so you jump me, off, just so I can drop you. Although the other the cool thing, right, with something like that is you can totally do the belly flop onto the water, right? Mm. If you're a monk, even a warfor monk, warfor's monk, and I think you have to be seventh level, you can run across the water. Yeah. yeah. So so you can break you can break the grapple and run back to the ship. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, granted, you could have just thrown them off, but it's it's funnier. It, it's way. funnier to you know the the to basically do the sumo squash with them first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> belly to belly suplex. Ah! <laughs> oh, Dave, you're right. You do a kip up and then like duh, duh, duh. <laughs> pretty much you Moses it across the, <laughs> the water surface. Yeah. So ways to use your Warforged monk in an unorthodox way. Right, right. It what may not be super think? effective, but it's it'll hilarious. be funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's definitely so hilarious. There was a moment that I was I was hoping to get in your game. Um, so I mean, I got the one thing with the the dust because I wanted like a cluster of guys to, to yeah. do something, but. I really wanted all the bad guys and Barker. Yeah, and Barker. Well, sorry, Barker. Uh, I really wanted to grapple two dudes, which I did, but I also wanted to be able to flurry of blows after and hit on both strikes. And what I was going to say that how I did it was bash their heads together. <laughs> Bang their heads together. Yeah, <laughs> like, but the moment never came. Someday, while Curses. playing that character, I will get to do this. Yeah, gra someday. Grapple, grapple, and boom, flurry of blows. Yeah, nice. So what do you guys think? Go ahead and put your comments below. Uh, whether you think the Warforged Monk is a killer combo or uh, whether it's not. A heap of junk. <laughs> <laughs> so while you're doing that, feel free to hit like, share, subscribe. Check us out on uh, nerdarchy.com. Uh, or hang out with us on Facebook. You can also join the conversation over on Reddit. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.